All right, guys, we got the Sky RC corner weight system. Well, that was last week. And what you didn't see was we had a little bit of a problem. And to fix the problem, we needed this. So thanks for joining me, guys. Let's get into this. Hi, thanks for joining me. And so as you've seen in the opening clip, I got the new Sky RC four corner weight system. And when I went to begin to use it, um, a lot of you old timers out there know what I, how I know this. Um, I went to check the calibration on it and I used a nickel. A nickel is known to be five grams. And these scales were way off. So I went to calibrate them. And in order to calibrate them properly, you need a 2,000 gram uh, weight. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen 2,000 grams, because I sure haven't. And that's it right there. So this is what we need to calibrate this scale system with. So we got one. We're going to do that today. We're going to see what our rigs are sitting at, how far off they are, or how close they compare. Okay, so we got all our weights calibrated and we got the app going on our phone here as you can see on the screen. So let's get started. Let's uh, start with the Pro. Let's get it on the weights here. Let's see, get all the wheels nice squared up and centered. So it's on the weight. Let's see. So it looks like we've got about a 61 to 39% front to rear ratio, which is pretty good. I'd rather be a tad heavy in the front than a tad light in the front. So that's pretty much perfect where I'd want to be with that. Looks like left to right, we are absolutely perfect 50% left to right. Now this is without the battery in it. Um, I probably should have done this test with the battery in it, but I wanted to see where the rigs are at with the baseline. And then because I've got some smaller batteries coming from A Power, um, we'll redo a test with those batteries in them. I'm going to get a baseline here with this rig on both rigs and possibly do some Tune in, making a couple of changes, tweak a couple of things and see if we can change up these biases if I'm not pleased with them. But so far on this rig, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. So the total weight in grams is 2,667.4 grams. Okay, so I just looked it up and that's 5.8 pounds. So at 2,667.5, let me get off the table, quit shaking it, there we go, 2,667.5 grams is 5.8 pounds, so that's a pretty light rig, not bad at all, I'm, I, I like where this rig is sitting, so if this rig is heavier, which I think it is, hopefully it's not too much heavier because I really don't want to be much heavier than this rig is right now. All right, so let's get the Enjora Pro set up here. Make sure we're nice and even on all the scales. Nice and centered up. So on this rig, the uh, front to rear bias 
is also off by one of that target 60 40 but it's off by one in the lighter way so the front is 59 with the rear being 41. let's see our left or right so we're a tad heavier on the right and the only thing that could really be compared to this rig because we use the same motor that's on that side the only thing that could really be is I don't really have all the electronics placed right there on that side just yet. And that Endure Servo. Also, the Endure Servo, winch servo that's in this one is probably a lot heavier than the Reefs 299 LP that I have in this rig. So that might play a difference in that. Also, let's see our cross bias is really close also only off by one um let's see so our total weight is 3115.5 okay so that is 6.8 pounds so this rig is a full pound heavier than this rig almost exactly so that gives us a good idea on heavier versus lighter when we're doing our crawling comparison between the two this is going to give us a lot of good data on why this rig either performs better or worse all right guys well that's my review on the sky rc corner weight system such a handy device to have in the toolbox really lets you know how your rig is set up and starts to give you ideas on how to start to tune your rig if it's doing something weird and you can't figure out why it's doing that this will give you some honest baselines to start adjusting with and then tell if what you're doing is actually making a difference in the setup of the rig it gives you a really good idea that you're on the right track with your setup process and that the changes you're making are in the right direction so i am glad i purchased this product i've been wanting it it did suck that i had to buy this 25 dollar 2000 gram weight in order to make sure they were calibrated properly but hey sometimes that just is what it is um, hopefully if somebody sees this video it'll save you some trouble and you know that you probably need to go ahead and order that when you order the corner weight setup so join me next time on the next episode guys i'm gonna do some tuning on this one we'll change some springs out we're going to install that winch line from nomad and tinker with some setups and then we'll throw it back on the scales and see if what we did changed any numbers so if you enjoy the video guys hit that like hit that subscribe and uh hit that notification bell so you know when i drop my next video and thanks for joining me guys